Hi, my name is Alex James and I'm going to be talking to you about the history of math. To understand the history of math, you really have to understand what math is. Webster's Dictionary describes it as uh, numbers and stuff. So anyways, math was first invented in 50 BC by a man named uh, Machved von Vanderkock in Rome. And uh, he was also responsible for inventing meth, that's methamphetamine to you and me. And um, he needed a way to distribute the meth, you know, drug dealing, to, uh, today's lingo. And uh, he could, he really needed like a tool such as math to uh, help him sell it. Unfortunately, he did overdose on his own meth and he died and thus leaving his invention undiscovered for millions and millions of years. It uh, later came back up, and I think it was 1981, it was rediscovered by a man named, we, we might know him as uh, Albert Einstein. He and Albert Einstein was selfish, he took all the credit for himself for the meth and math. And uh, he uh, needed a lot of money because he was short, he needed to make a car payment. And uh, so, you know, he sold his uh, new invention that he said he invented to uh, public schools and the government and stuff like that. And then, uh, Next thing you know, you know, uh, math books are sweeping the nation. This is becoming a huge fad just just to have you know knowledge, you know, through numbers, and uh, so these classes started like such as like you know algebra, pre-algebra, geometry, fucking calculus, you know, chemistry, yoga, addition, and uh, you know all these were funded by the government, of course, and uh, and even though the government Pumps, what I think the last time I read it was like six hundred trillion dollars a year into public schooling and stuff like that. Only five out of four people understand math. Anyways, that's math. I'm bullshit.